Hello everybody, Image here, and we are moving on to the second best of seven set between CJ Entis and the Height Sparkies. Um, that's right, these games were played um, on consecutive days, and I'm looking to do a bunch of the commentaries pr um, pretty close to um, that same time frame. We're going to get right into this. Um, this is the first game of this second best of seven series, and before we get started on talking about who the players are, which are Type B on the left for Height and Effort on the right for CJ, and they're both Zergs, before we get into real details about them, I just want to apologize for watching up my description of this format. It's not a big best of 15. Um, the way it works is that there are the two best of seven series. Um, if any team wins both of those, then they advance. If um, they split them 1-1, there is a mega ace match between the two to tiebreak and decide it. So that's how that goes. My bad, people. Next time I'll shut up if I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I might be a lot quieter in that case. Um, we're playing on Medusa here. It's a Zerg versus Zerg. Type B in effort. And uh, most of the descriptions of these players that I had from the last series still hold true. Um, type B is still this wild card Zerg who's capable of really good play. He is in um, green at the 6 o'clock, though there's um, some observer color changes. That's type B. He's in yellow at the 6 now, um, which puts effort in red at the 2 o'clock position. And yeah, as I was saying, um, type B, um, kind of an unpredictable player. Um, he kind of made a name for himself in the Pro League by being a um, low economy rushing um, style player, pretty aggressive, so kind of similar to um, Quanro or NC Yellow or um, even July in showing uh, pretty inspired low economy play. Um, effort um, in the red there, he is a beast of a Zerg, the, the Neo savior if you will. He has just been um, playing fantastically lately and his Zerg vs Zerg has been looking pretty strong too. Um, taking um, a couple of wins off of Jadong recently, and um, like I said in the Effort vs. Yellow Arnak set from the first um, best of seven, um, Zerg vs. Zerg is one matchup, but um, where you get pretty well, um, we can pretty well tell someone's level of skill in Zerg vs. Zerg is how they deal with the related matchup of Zerg vs. Jadong. Because Jadong plays Zerg vs. Zerg on a whole other level. But um, Yellow Arnak and Effort have both won games against Jadong. Type B, as of yet, has not. Um, and we'll see. Um, with that said, Type B certainly does have a chance, and it looks like a 12 pool for him and a 9 pool speed build. Um, well, not necessarily 9 pool speed, but a 9 pool gas build for um, Effort here. So, early build order advantage is going to Type B. Um, essentially, his economy is going to be a little bit stronger, he's going to have more drones, and if it's the typical follow-up, he'll be adding a, hatch a second hatchery um, sooner than Effort will as well, so he'll have a production advantage for a while, and have accumulated more larvae and units. There's that um, 12 pool into 11 hatchery build for Type B. Meanwhile, um, Effort has um, opted to go Lair first rather than get Zergling speed, so Effort is going to have his tech out significantly faster. And um, at the moment, the advantage still lies with Type B because um, his economy and production is going to. Uh, make up for efforts, um, early zerglings, and slightly faster tech, at least for now, though um, effort can equalize this if he does a bit of damage. There go effort zerglings on the move to do just that, and um, that overlord is going to miss scouting them, but type B has some zerglings out already, and um, the chase is on. Type B actually has some more zerglings um, than effort out in the field, but effort has some more at his base to defend. Um, and already, that's a pretty decent number, uh, decent number of links for effort. He's got a dozen moving out now, so full control group. And effort had about um, six or eight of his. Now, um, Type B is getting his own layer up, though it is behind. Um, it is behind efforts by I don't know, maybe 40 seconds. 
perhaps a bit longer than that even. So effort might have a bit of um, effort might have a bit of time with um, unopposed mutalisks in the air, which would also help him to um, make up this slight disadvantage that he's at. Um, Zergling speed now kicking in for both players, roughly simultaneously, and um, effort's initial pressure there has been fought off. Spire is already on the way up for effort, and I don't think um, Type B's lair has even finished morphing, but I don't know if that's going to really be too much of a problem for Type B. There, um, there's also the observer there highlighting that Type B is not mining gas out of his main, so it looks like he's going for a Zergling all in, um, which is a very curious move because. Um, there's an overlord in Type B's base to spot that, and um, efforts able to react accordingly, putting up a sunken colony in his mineral line to help um, deter those lings, and soon he'll have uh, mutalisks as well. So Type B has got his zerglings on the periphery of efforts base, but that sunken colony is up and defending just about everything. Um, the lings are blocking for the sunken colony, and. Type B might get a drone or two, and that's all well and good. But I think he was looking for—I um, think he was really looking for a more decisive um, victory there. And um, yeah, Type B has gotten a couple of efforts drones, but the fact that Effort has these mutalisks out unopposed already means that um, Type B is going to have to sacrifice drones of his own to get an evolution chamber and spore colonies up. And this is, um, this is, I think, forced at this point, because Type B hasn't even built the Spire yet. I think he definitely was looking for that Zergling attack to just end the game, and seeing as it didn't, now, um, now Type B is going to be way behind on his tech. That's another Spore Colony going up, not the Spire next to the spawning pool. And he doesn't have a Spire at either base, so... Um, Type B... His economic advantage has been um, nullified, I think, in large part that um, one mutalisk is preventing mining at the natural, and um, Type B wasn't mining gas for a while, so now Effort is getting up his second hatchery, and has had a steady flow of gas all game, and has additional mutalisks. So the game, if it hasn't already, it's going to very shortly swing in Effort's favor.